We're back in uh, the fer at the Fairgate Theatre, 85 years before the main part plot of this game. In Weird Park 3, the final show. And uh, this is what we found underneath, behind-ish, the theatre. I don't think this is normal. This is not your average theatre. The cover of that of the receptacle is chained down. There's no way I'll be able to move it. However, it is cracked, so I might be able to break it. Uh, I have no idea who we're playing at the moment, but someone. <laughs> we are someone. I guess we have to open all of these. Do puzzles, and yeah, there's stuff to do. More papyrus to find. And the uh, stuff. It definitely feels like this is a this is like a bonus game, but it's not. So it's like, hey. We will take that book. Ooh, more papyrus. We need even more! Let's do this one. Something's buried here. Since I don't know what it is, I shouldn't dig it out with my hands. In the apple figure in here. Uh, numbers in each section of the apple should some add up to the same sum. Okay. We have lots of threes. Lots of twos. And two fours. No, uh, three fours. I don't even know what I'm doing. 10, 15, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 6, 10, 14, <clears throat> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11. Now that's 15 again. No! Okay, so it's 39. 39 through 3 is 13. Should be 13, so we want 13 everywhere. So if we're doing... This is 10. In that case, we want to do that. And apparently that was all I needed. And yeah. Good. Fun. Good. Good Good job, Warfire. Good job. We need all more fragments. Oh. It was just another Friday night. The house was packed. As always, as my assistant Mary and I stepped onto the stage to perform the trick in which we make a clock vanish into thin air, Mary asked for someone in the audience to volunteer, and a dwarf sitting in the front row agreed to help. At first, he seemed to be a good sport, so I made a joke about his height. I would come to regret that. After we'd finished the trick, the dwarf cried, you call that a miracle? <laughs> you charlatan! I'll show you a miracle! Then something I couldn't have conjured in my worst nightmares happened. Everyone in the audience was lifted into the air, as if they'd been pulled by invisible strings, and then dropped to the floor. I was so shocked, I couldn't move. Meanwhile, the dwarf was standing next to me, laughing. The theater immediately descended into chaos. People ran toward the exit, screaming and pushing each other. Once the place was empty, the little man turned to me and said, That is magic! You can't even pull a rabbit out of the hat without misleading your audience. You're lucky, though. I'm feeling merciful. So I'll make a wager with you. If you can say my name, I'll give you the power of a warlock. What do you think? Well, you can't refuse, so don't bother answering. <laughs> I'm going to lock you in this theater while you're looking for my name. For now, call me Mr. Dudley. The dwarf possessed magic that allowed him to control me. 
Days passed, and then days turned into weeks as I searched for the dwarf's name. Yesterday, I found some ancient manuscripts in the abandoned hall behind the stage. I don't know who wrote them, but the author seems to have been obsessed with capturing the dwarf. This makes me think the little guy is here on a mission. Is he looking for the manuscripts too? I found a blueprint of a device and a sheet of papyrus with a symbol in its center. I've assembled the device, but I haven't solved the mystery of the papyrus. I'm sure it's the key to my freedom, though. Oh! Okay. I found the journal of the dead magician, who was named David Wood. It shed light on what happened here. It seems a dwarf I met is connected with Wood's death. I must be careful when dealing with him. Perhaps I can finish what Wood started. Deal with the dwarf who said to call him Dudley. Alright, so I guess Dudley isn't his name, so I guess he could be Loki again. Or something. Nah, so confused. We'll see what happens. Basically. That was a cool cutscene. Uh, lots of story there. Uh, uh, piece of cake. Come on. Piece of cake. Fourteen. Oh, there we go. We got a shovel. Really? We took a piece of cake with a shovel? Ah, yes, of course. Uh, it's a capsule. How do I... Okay. <laughs> right. More hypnotic scenes. Hey, the little Santa is back! Okay, he's actually kind of cute. I like him. That chameleon is cute too, actually. It is soon. When I'm recording this, it's uh, not even a month left to Christmas. Drats, I need to buy Christmas presents. Oops. Where is this imp thing that needs this? Uh... And a tube. Hmm. No idea. Okay, so sure, that's the, the, that's the tube. But where is this imp thing? Something needs this. What needs the trident thingy? Oh, of course. Hey, dude. I thought I was looking for an imp, an imp to hold it, but that was not the case. Was it? No, it was not. Okay, I'm have to do something with my stuffs here. Yeah. Aha. And even more aha. And even more fragments. <laughs> Ah, oh dear. Uh, too small to read. Stone locket. Maybe it goes here. Yeah. Um. Each window should contain a different stone. I'm presuming different in both color and... Oh! Well, um... I presume that means that we uh, solved it. Not that I was actually done, but... I mean, if the puzzle insists. 8591. I saw an engraving on the ring hidden in the chessboard, although... 
Though the lettering is very small, I managed to read four numbers. 8591. I have no idea what they mean, but I'd better remember them. Uh, aha. Jukebox handle. Nothing happens. I probably did something wrong. Uh, 8591. Opening the safe. Yeah. Come on, please tell me I'm done with the papyrus fragments now. Come on. Yes. Lock in, please. Yeah. I mean, they're kind of already in their respective positions, but... I don't know what I do now, but sure. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was just gonna say it's probably hidden up in a, a hidden object scene. Now we're gonna build ourselves something. Um How could it not require a bow? Come on. How can it not require a bow? A pink bow, too. Oh, we need to lock it. Which looks like the papyrus thingy. Oh, it says Loki! He is Loki! It is Loki! Okay, thank you. I'm less confused now, I think. There's real magic at work here. When I place a locket on the sheet of papyrus, the word Loki appeared on the page along with four symbols. This must be the sheet of papyrus would mention his journal. So dwarf's name is Loki? I believe I have what I need to defeat him. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, and then we're gonna put him in the record? Oh, that's how he came to be in the record, maybe. Oh. Oh wait, oh I oh okay, 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 okay. So that one is right. So it's gonna be that one. Oh I see. Okay, that one, the Z and I think it's that one, isn't it? Is there something else I'm supposed to touch? No? No, I think it's... I think that's right. That's like an F. So this one is wrong? Or maybe that... Oh! That one was wrong. Okay. What happened? What have you done to me, pathetic human? Set me free before I get mad! Now! Mm, no. <laughs> Whoopsie, we have a Loki record. Eighty five years later. Yeah, Lewis bought it. Aha! Powered by Oliver Hoppe engine. Interesting. Alright, so that was... Uh, the ending there was uh, sort of a prequel to the whole series. Uh, how it began. Uh, someone imprisoned him. So, okay, so he was Loki. And he's been around for a while. Right. And here are the credits. All the cool people who helped make Weird Park 3. And, um, oh, there's the cast, clown and other, haha, <laughs> right, some logos and stuff. Um, I personally thought the first game was the best in the series, I think. I, I like the atmosphere and style stuff of it, but yeah, they're cool, all of them. 
Um, and, uh, yeah, we're not gonna watch the credits again. I can tell you that. You play the game! To play again, create a new player. Nah, I'm good. Okay, well, that was that. That was Weird Park 3, the final show. We've now played the entire Weird Park series. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the game. And, um... I don't know. That's it. <laughs> um, the prequel thingy was cool. Uh, and stuff. So, yeah. I'll see ya. Take care. <laughs>